Welcome to my channel. In today's tutorial, I will show you how I search for free pictures that you can use in your YouTube videos, how I upload them to Doodly, how I create uh, scenes, how I use or not use hand, and how I adjust timing of pictures and text in the clips. If you are new here, hope you enjoy this tutorial. You can subscribe to my channel. Let's do it. Today I'm going to show you how I create a doodly video. So let's go to Pixabay and first I find images that I would like to use for my video. So let's say I'm going to create some video about a house. So I go to Pixabay, it's a free uh, website where you can download pictures and use them even for business or YouTube channel. So I just typed house and I like this one so I'm just going to press download and I'm just going to save it on my desktop and I'm just going to call it house Let's go back to Pixabay and let's look for um, something else. Let's say I would like to use a picture of fence. So for images, um, I don't want to use photos. So I click on images and it gives you option. And I like to look for illustrations. And here I just scroll down and find image that I love the most. I like this one. So again, I press download. And I am going to save it on my desktop again. One more picture I'm going to look for. It's a mailbox. Again, I'm choosing illustration. So I'm going to download this picture. Again, I'm just going to save it on my desktop. And I decided to look for a um, picture of a family. I want to show you how you can remove the background. So I'm looking for a picture that actually has some background because sometimes you need to remove the background. So this time I'm going to choose photos. And I'm just going to scroll down and find a picture of a family that I like the most. I like this one so I'm going to download this picture you can see that it has a background ocean is behind but I will remove it and it's very easy to to do it and I will show you how how you can do it very fast and easy first of all you need to download the picture I'm going to save it on desktop I'm going to put a link in my description. You can you can find it there. So I just drag the picture to this website and now it's just removing the background. It takes a few seconds and here it is. You can just download this picture without a background and you can use it for your videos. I don't want to have a very long name, so I'm just going to call it Family One. And you can see there is PNG photo, which means that it's transparent, it doesn't have a background. Okay, so once I collect my photos, but now let's go to Doodly. I'm going to choose White Background, put a title for my video, which I'm going to call House. 
and just press create. Now I am in my video creation um, scene and you can see that we are going to work with white backgrounds. You can see that I already have a lot of pictures and props that I have downloaded it. How you can see it is that when you press on Doodly Rainbow, they don't change color. If the rainbow is off, you should see just black and white pictures. So I have a lot of uh, picture which I download myself, but when we go to characters, I don't have as many, and you can see that those characters are only black and white. You can choose to turn rain rainbow on, and they will be in color. So here you can choose if you would like to have a hand drawing your pictures and your letters for writing. So let's say I'm going to choose this hand. You can also choose cartoon hands, which we use for our children, children videos. And here you can choose the color of the background. You can click on the rainbow of the color and just see how the background would look. And then if you press apply, that would be the color. But I'm going back to white and now I'm going to choose again the hand I like the most and press apply. I want to show you how to do logo. If you would like to have, if you have any logo you want to use on your videos or your signature, uh, you can put it in your video and I want to show you how to do that, that it's always at the same place. So let's go back to Pixabay. I'm just going to find some logo that I can use for this video purpose. So I'm going just to type logo. And again, I, since it's mostly illustration, I'm going just to put illustration. Because this video is about the house, I'm just going to put a logo house. So let's see what Pixabay offers. So here you have a few choices. I like this stay home logo, so I'm going to download that one. I'm going to save it on my desktop. Okay, now we can go back to Doodly and let's bring that logo to Doodly. So you see that you just have that plus button, you press on plus button and then you find the picture you wanna bring it on. Just press continue and it's going to upload to Doodly. Just gonna take a few seconds. And here it is. So now we just have to make it a little bit smaller and place it where we would like to have it in our video. So I I place it there, but you can see that it's taking three seconds to to bring it on. So you can see it's going to take uh, three seconds to 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 draw it, which I don't like. What I'm going to do, I'm just going to press to bring duration to zero, which makes that this sign just appears at the beginning. And I'm going to copy the sign and um, in the next slide, wherever you click on the, sl on the slide, it's going to bring that logo. You can see I, I'm clicking on the left side, but it's just going to be placed where it was at the first slide. So let's give this slide a name, the first slide. Let's call it house. Press apply. Now you can place with the size and you can place it where you like. You can change color. Or if you click on 
on that square inside you can also go and change color that way as well also I want to show you how you can change font very very easily you can just drag it so with this method you can easily see how it would look with different fonts and you can play play with it till you like the font the best also you can see that now uh, I put delay half seconds and duration two seconds so it means that the house the hand is going to start writing it half second later and also we need to give it some extra time at the end I usually put two and a half seconds or three seconds so when people are watching your video they have time to see what is on the slide they give them some extra time so now we go to the next slide and we would like to bring the pictures that we downloaded from Pixabay. So here we have the family. And you can see it's the one without the background. So we bring it to our doodly video. And again, you can play with it how big you want it and where you want to place it. And you can see that it's also storing in your doodly program so next time if you want a family it's already going to be there you can flip it as i showed you and again you see that it's going to take three seconds to draw it so you can see how the video is going so far house and now it would take a hand which looks not very professionally done so again we can change it we have to press the edit button which is only in the pictures that you upload yourself not do the pictures but when you bring them yourself and you change it to fade and you save it so this way when we preview you can see that the picture nicely comes up and just fade in in three seconds so I am going to call it family, save, save, adjusting the fonts, the size of the fonts, and remember that Doodly is a layer kind of program that how you lay them, the steps in, in that sequence they are coming in. So we have family and the last one was the title that we put a family. So we would like to maybe, you know, preview just this slide and you see we have a picture and then we have the sign. So let's say we would like to have the sign first. So we have to change the layer. We bring it up. Now we can see it comes first and then picture fades in you can also um, turn off the hand if you do not like it that it's writing you want it just to appear first I just show you it will actually write by itself without the hand that's one option or you can just have it appear the whole title so you have to change duration to zero in this case it will just appear the whole family so this is how you play with it and adjust it to your liking we would like the sign to appear one second after and also the picture one second after the family comes so family first and one second later the pictures comes in so this is how you adjust pictures and titles let's not forget to give it some extra time at the end so people can really see what is on the slide so we have first slide house then we have a sign 
picture and it gives you some extra time. So now let's go to third slide and let's say we, we want to bring those fence picture in. Let's have a look if Doodly has a fence picture. So we can see they have one. So let's say just let's make a slide bringing one Doodly picture and one picture that we downloaded from Pixabay. So I'm going to place this fence here and the second I have to upload from my desktop where I saved it and here we have two fences on our slide so let's play with the size and position them in our slide you can flip them okay so one here and one here and now let's let's um let's see how uh what we have we see that both of them take three seconds to to appear let's just have a look how that would look preview so one two three and one two three you see it doesn't look very good so we can adjust that so what we are going to do the first i want to for this fence to come a little bit later and also the duration i want to put to to zero so the fence would just appear without being drawn so again we click on the slide and press preview and you see that it will just appear in case we would like those fences to be drawn and uh, you see this option because it was totally it doesn't give you option of editing it and changing it to be drawn but what we can do instead of draw we press none so it means that it will just appear and the picture that we brought from pixabay we can change it to fade and we would like to give it one second delay. Now let's preview this slide. So we have this fence and then the other fence coming one second later, duration three seconds. If you like this fence to come first, you just have to change the layers and bring that fence first. Now let's let's add some writing to this um, slide. Let's write this or this. So this one. Then we bring another window where we're going to write or position in between. And one more double click in and we enter the text this and question mark we can also play with color so let's give this a blue color and we can change this one to red nice okay so now we just have to play with the layers and see when those um, sign signs come up so let's look at our layers so we want or just it's very short so it's just half a second this um, let's have a look at the scene how it looks at this moment so one fence and then another comes in and then we have this or this so let's see we put this one 
after the first fence and then we can have or then we will see we will we will have second fence coming up and let's give it a half a second delay for for questions this okay so we said this or this this is the whole, the whole video what we have so far house family fading in fence this or this and then you can add another slide remember if you paste it's still saved you paste logo it's going to be placed at the same place that it was before in previous slides and let's say we would like to add mailbox or garden garden mailbox you can rename it and make it shorter just leave it mailbox so anytime you will need mailbox picture you will have it saved so now again we can go to fonts and double click and enter a text so we want to give it a little bit delay for mailbox to come and we don't want again to be drawn we want it to be fade in so we change it to fade and save for mailbox we would like to come first and have it one second delay and also we gave one second delay for the picture to appear let's preview this slide so we will have mailbox and then mailbox comes in you see that writing has hand so we can turn it off choose no hand apply so this is the the video we have created so far house family then you have fence this or this this one is using a hand it's just the example showing you how you can use hand this one is without the hand mailbox and it just appears. So this is the short tutorial how you can use Doodly. I also want to show you at the very end, let's not forget to give extra time, but also how you can play with um, exit. Each slide would have a different exit animation. So we have a right and I'm using left for this one. The third one will go up, will go up, and mailbox will go down. Just to show you how you can play with um, with exiting the scenes. I usually like it no exit. It just goes to the next slide, or if I choose one direction I want all the slide go the same direction so this is a short tutorial how you can create videos on doodly uh, I hope you like it please consider subscribing to my channel have a wonderful day and see you next time bye